Suitor. Okay. If you were to ask God what he has lost that would cause him to throw a party if he got it back, what would he say? I think he'd ever have lost anything. Really. If there were something that not lost as in negligently forgot where he put it, yeah. but lost in the sense of something that had maybe left and then come back to him. anything. Yeah. No. Got it. Okay, well, this this video is actually just one of Jesus' stories with kind of like a modern bent to it. He talks in Luke 15 about a, a woman that, that lost some money and basically uh, would do anything she could to get that money back, like most of us would. But then Jesus kind of put a spin on it, and he related it to each of us. And he said, every time one of us comes back to God, he throws a party in heaven over us returning to him. And uh, when he gets us back. So it's not like he lost something, so to say. But yeah, Jesus was relating it to each of our own decision to return to him and, and to have that relationship with him. And so the fourth question is really pretty simple. It's actually, is it okay if Jeff, Jeff is a pastor here, in town, and uh, don't hold that against he, me, but. he is one of the <laughs> coolest men. I, we actually, this is going way back. Me and him were were co-workers long ago before we were either in ministry. Yeah, that's right. When I was a college student, actually. Uh, so he he's been just a great guy for many years that I've known for over a decade. Uh, but yeah, is it okay if he tells you real shortly how God got him back? <laughs> Sure. He'll keep it to three minutes or so. Yeah. Which is a tough order for a pastor. But uh, <laughs> What's your name again? Michael. Michael, that's right. Because you, you said something that I thought was awesome. And that is that, you know, you don't really think that the guy would lose something. Uh, and, and I dig that because, yeah, I mean, because that gives the idea. I, I don't really see God necessarily running around, freaking out, scrambling. You know, because, yeah. I mean, he can, he can, you know, he kind of has his hand on, you know, all things that way. So he's not freaking out. You know, he hasn't really lost things. But basically what happened is, and to answer Nate's question, you know, in my life, in my experience, my situation was that, um, you know, I, I saw it more so as, you know, God was there. God was doing what God does. And yet I was wandering, doing my own thing, carving my own niche. And, uh, you know, just trying to do life. I mean, you've got dreams. You know, you were telling me you want to do this thing with Head Start. And uh, it's awesome. You know, for me, it was basketball, okay, and uh, not quite realizing that as a slow white kid, you know, from South Dakota, <laughs> there, was a ce yeah. there was a ceiling on that thing, right? A little bit. Yeah, and, uh, um, you know, but that what I was finding is no matter how, how far I could run down that path, basketball or sports-wise, there was still going to be a ceiling, and if that was really the end of all things... What was I doing here? You know, in a sense, that's where I relate with that video on being lost. And the fact that it's like I'm running down this path, but there's nothing really at the end of it. It's being lost, man. That'd be like going and hiking and trying to find, you know, a particular site, running down to the end of the path and then not being there, going, yeah. "Whoops, I'm in the wrong spot." And uh, um, you know, that's where God moved in my life it was to show me that He was so much more than than a, than a subject to be studied or a philosophy. Feed, uh, to be compared, mm -hmm. um, but that there's really uh, a relationship that he's looking to have with us um, through Christ, uh, his son. And, and he provided that ability to be found, to be to come back, because Nate, Nate was telling you that this story is about a lady who lost a coin, and she does everything in the house to find it. The very next story talks about a father who lost a son, who took his inheritance and ran and, and went and just did whatever with life. And, and, and I've get, heard that one. You heard that story? Gets to the end of the path, and it wasn't what he thought it was going to be, and he realizes that he's that, that it would be better living 
living with his father. And the other son gets jealous. Yeah, man. Dude, been, you're on it, man. Yeah, yeah you get it. It's yeah. Catholic school. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, me, sweet. Me too. Back in the day. So there you go. Uh, uh, but the, the sweet thing about that is, see, my, my, really, my connection with that story isn't with the son who took the inheritance and went and spent it on wild living. I'm the older son sitting back going, why would you throw a party for that guy when I've done everything right in life? Yeah. And the father's going, dude, you're still invited. <laughs> you're still in. And But what it takes is you coming to the party. You, you, you come in that way and realizing that, that my love is as much for you and you doing everything right as it was for the son who did everything wrong on that. And 17 years old, in a nutshell, man. 17 years old, trying to figure out what's next as I'm realizing that this basketball athletic path has only got so much more life to it. There had to be something more to shoot for. And I'll finish with this story, man. Back at, back at that time, um, there's this guy named Ballard who was an adventurer. He found the Titanic. Okay, this is before your time, man. This A little bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, you're talking old school for sure. I remember when they found the Titanic and they were going to show this video of, of all this new footage, right? And Ballard gets up and he talks about the fact that his his quest is complete now because he found the Titanic. And I remember sitting there at this very time of my life going, there's got to be something more than even finding the Titanic. I mean, at, yeah. the, at the time it was the coolest thing ever, but there's got to be something more than finding a rusted out ship in the bottom of the ocean. I would agree. That kind of sounds sad. It's the entire endeavor of your life is led up to this moment. Then and, and so, nothing. again, it's that lost idea. You ran down a path and that was it? That, 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 that's, that's the pinnacle? There's got to be something more on that thing. And, uh, and it was at that point in time I realized that even all of the the, 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 the right form that I learned in Catholic, in, in, within the Catholic Church too, there was something missing in that. I mean, you know, there, there was kind of something something empty in it. There, there, was, there was some, but there was still something missing. And the missing part was that, that for sure confident relationship with God. And I uh, was introduced to that by a guy at a church in this little home little town in South Dakota where I grew up and uh, um, remember him telling me, hey, use this scripture verse out of, out of this book of Psalms. It said, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I remember just sitting there going, huh. And he said, I promise you, you taste and see that he's good. He just gets better and better over time. And the testimony of my life is that next month is 23 years since I took that, that challenge. And, uh, um, there's, and, and he has tasted, he gets better over time. And to the point where he left a job five years ago as a financial advisor to pastor this little church down in, in downtown and uh, to, to give my life that way, to tell and share more people with more people. You know, not some kind of arrogant punk way, but that uh, as you find yourself, all of us are on that path. That there is a path that you can pick that the end is worth having walked that path. And so, hey, I, what, what I'd share with you is that uh, if you've never tasted and seen that the Lord is good, you jump in and you do that, buddy. And, uh, and, 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 and to see that it truly is uh, worth finding and, and, and to be found by Him. And so, there you go. It's more than three minutes now. But, uh, <laughs> I'm a pastor. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three is like six. This, 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 this kid's over here going, dude, I just had a birthday, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm stop already, bud. So. Wow. Okay, I know you're busy. 